When I came to Indonesia for the first time, I really didn't know how to use Indonesian toilet. This is why in this episode I want to show you and tell you about some important rules that you have to remember about when you want to use Indonesian toilet. So let's go! toilet sometimes you have to wear flip-flops or take your shoes off now i have my flip-flops so i will use this and i will enter the toilet so come on, come on, come on. entering the toilet barefoot isn't common in public places like supermarkets or train stations hello yeah uh, this uh, get toilet this, uh, yeah? <laughs> However, when you visit Indonesian houses, don't be surprised if people ask you to enter the toilet without shoes. Nevertheless, some of them will provide you toilet slippers or flip-flops that are used only in the toilet. Wow. <laughs> 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 so welcome to Indonesia. Yeah. 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 you can also see a bucket or a big bowl of water that have the same intended use. Indonesians wash themselves. They don't use tissue. Like in Europe, for example, we use tissue to make clean yes, our body, but they don't do it. They wash themselves with water uh, after using the toilet and after they use this tissue to just, you know, make it dry. In more modern Indonesian toilets, you can find a hand pump or a hose that's connected to a tap. It's also used to clean the intimate part of the body. Hmm, but what do Indonesians do when they go abroad and they can't wash their body in the toilet with water? Tapi kalau kita biasanya cara mengakalinya itu kita bawa botol. Karena botol mungkin nanti dari wastafelnya kita ambil air atau biasanya di sini ada yang dekat sama wastafelnya itu yang toilet untuk disable. Mereka biasanya dekat sama was, maksudnya nggak terpisah antara wastafel dengan tempat airnya. Um, atau kita selalu bawa wet tissue kemana-mana untuk membantu lebih um, more clean lah ya guys. Let's imagine the situation that you use the toilet right now and you finished and you want to put this tissue inside. No, 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 don't do it. No, don't do it. Oh yeah, that's another important difference that you have to remember about. Instead of flushing a paper down the toilet, Indonesians put it in the garbage can. But why? This toilet can be blocked and you can have some problems. So don't be surprised if you see a bin full of used toilet paper just next to you in the toilet. So is there anything else you should know about? In many toilets in Indonesia there is no soap. So this is why my advice is to take this kind of soap and have it next to you all the time, like me for example. I just take it and I wash my hands yeah, somewhere because uh, usually in Indonesia uh, yeah, you cannot find it very easily. Thank you so much and I really hope that you already know how to use Indonesian typical toilet. If you have any questions just let me know and I will try to explain to you. Yeah. See you! <laughs> I can't even use it. <laughs> the normal is just now. How can I use it? <laughs> but they use like that. If you go inside the toilet and you see that this bathroom is filled with water, full water, full water. And usually I don't use this water, you know, because also it can be a good home and good house for mosquitoes. They can, uh, how to say, spread many bacteria and after you can be sick because that's a really good home for them. I usually um, use this guy hook. I put the water every time and I just wash myself. Yeah, I don't know, that's the, the safest part, you know. Thank you. 